Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create and apply profiles and mouldings in Cabinet Vision. The mouldings and profiles function serves two purposes when they are utilised within a job. They allow you, the user, to add extra visual appeal to your drawings and renderings by detailing more elements of the job. These can be custom mouldings and profiles or ones that you actually manufacture. The second major ability that this assists you in is representing mouldings that you may manufacture. If your business sells or produces particular mouldings for the customer, you are able to reflect this within the functionality of profiles and mouldings inside Cabinet Vision. Profiles are also used to style a benchtop in the same fashion as mouldings, adding extra detail to your job or to represent profiles that you offer to your customers. Here is an example of profiles and mouldings applied in a job. The profiles and mouldings function is available in solid standard, drafter, advanced and ultimate. Today we'll be working within solid ultimate. From the splash screen I will navigate to the profile menu. What we are viewing here is the profiles that can be designed and modified for the purpose of benchtops inside a job. Inspecting the ribbon bar, we find the following. Zoom settings, which control how we view the profile. New, copy and delete. Category, as well as individual entity selection. Reset and edit. Resetting will allow you to default it back to a rectangular geometry and edit will allow you to edit the CAD of that geometry and to custom shape it. Our categories drop down chooses between edge profiles and beading. The beading is only ever used if you're also using a face frame construction. The second drop down shows us all existing bench profiles. Left, we have information relevant to this individual profile selection. Resetting it will turn the profile into an original geometry which is the building block for creating a custom shape. Edit selection is made to do so. Whilst inside the edit menu, we are equipped with multiple CAD functions which we can utilize to custom shape our profile. We can also import custom DXF CAD files. Before adding it into a job, ensure that your construction method allows a profile to be placed, as well as a material schedule having material assigned for the edge. From the job property screen, we will assign our benchtop material and then we will assign a profile edge. Here we have an example of the profile correctly assigned to a benchtop inside our new job. Next we will cover how to create and modify mouldings. Navigating from the splash screen, we enter the mouldings menu. The layout for this section is extremely similar to that of the profile menu. The differences we can establish are the addition of extra buttons in the view section on the ribbon bar and a 3D import button added to the shape section. One of the key features when applying a moulding to a job is the ability to create and apply individual moulding components or to customise a moulding set, allowing you to apply a pre-configured selection of more than one mouldings. More subtle differences between the Mouldings Manager and the Profile Manager is the Render Modes and 3D Modes. We have the ability to view these profiles as 2D or 3D objects, as well as being able to render them for easier viewing. Moving over to the Shape tab, we have the ability to import a 3D model. To understand how the Model Import Editor works, please refer to the SketchUp and 3D Model Import video. When importing a 3D shape, the imported model will repeat itself to achieve the length of the wall it is placed on within a job. Creating a new moulding, we can now specify its information on the left hand pane. We assign its name and then the category we would like it to appear. We have the added ability to cost this item, specifying whether we want to price it per job, strip or per metre. A strip refers to each length of wall inside a job. We now move on to edit the shape of our newly created moulding. Using the same CAD method as the profile that we created, we can now customise this moulding to our desired shape. 
Bear in mind, the reference for this is the green dot, located at the bottom left. Now we have completed the shape, it is able to be applied to our job through the Job property screen when we create a new job. The shape we created was named Test Moulding and was assigned as a baseboard under Type. The newly created moulding derives from the category we assigned it to. The best way to apply any of the mouldings inside a job is by using either the Auto Build or New Moulding function. These functions are situated in the Moulding submenu accessed from Plan View. By choosing Auto Build, Cabinet Vision will automatically apply the mouldings along existing walls. Choosing New Moulding will allow the user to define exactly where the selected moulding will place. The advantages of this is if you would like to conform your roof cornice to a bulkhead shape. Here is our newly created moulding appearing inside the job. The next example is how to create a moulding set. As mentioned, a moulding set refers to several categorised mouldings that can be applied all at once. This will save the user time if the same set of mouldings is used constantly. Selecting New, then Moulding Set will place you in the correct menu for this set creation. We now select Edit, which is where we can insert any selection of the mouldings within Cabinet Vision. We can drag and place each item and then by selecting each one individually, we can define its elevation, shown here by the Origin Y box. From the Mouldings tab in our Job Property screen, we can select the type on the left here, and then using the Profile drop-down selection, specify our newly created set. Entering our job, we apply this moulding set from the Moulding menu. We ensure to specify the category our moulding set lives in and we can now apply this by selecting Auto Build or by manually drawing the moulding. We can see the moulding set applied and working correctly here. On behalf of Planet Cutting Edge Solutions, thank you for watching this tutorial on profiles and mouldings.